Good morning, everyone. It's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning, as every morning, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to give you thanks for another day of life. We give you thanks because your mercies endure forever. We give you thanks because your love is unfeigned and endureth forever. And I pray that we are tapping into this freely given love, dear Lord. That we are drinking from that fountain of eternal life, even from here in our mortal being. Let us always remember that this is just a temporary state of ours if we so choose to hold fast unto those heavenly promises and gifts that you have given us. And though our mind at times cannot comprehend everything, dear Lord, we just pray that our trust and our hope in you never ceases. Though at times things may look gloomy and bleak, Though at times we cannot see the way forward. Though at times, dear Lord, we do not know what to do. But what we do is trust in you and to love you with all our hearts, minds, souls and strength. Knowing that you have all good intention for those who love you. And you shall preserve us until that day that we are redeemed into your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for forgiveness for things that we have done, things that we have left undone, things that we should have done. I pray for forgiveness for all the times that we have caused you or caused your name to be blasphemed. I pray for forgiveness for all those times that we have ruined the witness that you have placed in us by things that we have done, which is not according to your good, acceptable, perfect, and holy will. And I pray, dear Lord, that when we are forgiven, we are actually humble enough to change whatever we have done that, was, that we needed forgiveness for, and that we continue this life in their holy path, so that having been forgiven, we shall abide in true faithfulness and righteousness, which is only found in you, Lord Jesus. And Lord, as we walk that path of faithfulness and righteousness, we are going to be tested and tried. And even if we stumble at things, at times, we know that as long as we stand on you, the sure rock, Lord Jesus Christ, we shall never be overcome. And I pray that this is what is in our hearts and our minds to go forward in this life that nothing at all moves us from serving you and that we are equipping teaching edifying nurturing and raising up the youth the children in this truth and the knowledge of who you are so that when they are of age they shall never neglect nor reject you I ask that you bless us with your word this morning, Lord Jesus Christ. Edify our souls, which is in need of it. And sustain us as our physical food sustain the natural flesh. So let your spiritual food sustain our inner man. To the glory of God, our Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Okay. <coughs> All right, um, so Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Amen. Trust. Trust is something, as some say, it is hard to gain, and easy to lose and um, it is it is one of those and it's, it's understandable 
why it's hard to gain and easy to lose and i'm speaking from like a man to man like person to person point of view because all of us can say we have been burnt in times past and we have burnt people in times past also right it's a two-way street we have done wrong and we have received wrong and in this the natural sense is to to guard to guard to protect to in some in some aspect lose trust right that is a natural thing that will um will happen right and as i said i totally understand that because i'm human just like you right and um the thing though is that we and i'm just talking from a natural sense here we can um forfeit certain things because of the trust that we have lost for humanity over just the course of our lives and yes people are going to make mistakes people are i'm going to make mistakes you're going to make mistakes in life but if we now always forfeit everyone then that is not really what god created us for right he, he actually created us as beings that social like socialize we, we, we even the body of christ we know that there is um fellowship there is um and if you don't speak from purely from a worldly point of view we see where the gathering together is always something that humans tend to want to do obviously you have the cases when there is not that but i'm talking in in general context here so with trust as i said it's easy to it's hard to gain easy to lose um we, we as i said i was just explaining from a natural point of view and just to say that yeah i get what that means um to not really wanting to trust people right especially if you trusted them and they did something that caused you to lose that trust as i said can talk and that's why we always pray for forgiveness that we whatever we have done to anyone in this present life that we, we can be used by god to redeem those big bad things that we have done and the reason why i, I still support that yeah we, we, even if we trust in man there is limitations to it because man is fallible right and man can let you down there is one that can't let us down. There is one that is perfectly righteous. One that has perfect good intentions for us. Um, regardless, full stop, right? And this is our Lord God Almighty. And this is why when we can we when we trust in Him, we can literally trust Him with all our hearts, because. He has no evil intent. He's not going to let us down. He's not going to do bad for us. He's not going to fail us in any way, shape or form. Right? Although man can. Right? And he will. Uh, his, 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 his will for us is for us to live in his good pleasure. Right? Yes, we're going to have trouble in this life. But he overcome this world so that we can have peace through him. Right? And... This is why when certain things happen in our life, the troubles, the trials, the tests, all of that stuff. Yes, we can't put our trust wholly in mankind, right? But we can trust God that even though we have to relate with mankind, God Almighty shall see us through it all, right? In all our ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct our paths. He shall lead us in what we ought to be doing. And as I said, we have to have mercy, grace. We have to have love towards one another because, yes, we are fallible. Um, it's not an excuse or anything like that. But as I said, we have let down people in the past. We can we'll hold my hands up, right? And so, yeah. So if we've done it to somebody, somebody and somebody does it to us, then it is only fitting that we are 
as merciful as our Heavenly Father is merciful because we have let him down in doing sin throughout our lifetime. But yet still, he will still allow us to trust in him if we commit our lives all over to him. Right? All our ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct our paths. So, just wanted to leave that one this morning, everyone. Anything that you want to share, you can drop it in the comment section as always or send it into the word at eachreachone.org. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. Have a blessed day, everyone. And God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.